Okay, today we're going to convert a site um, to ZestiAO. Uh, it's going to be this BNG Enterprises website. And basically, we don't have a login. Uh, we're going to, and we just need to convert this site over. So, this is, we all we have access to is to the site through the web browser. But since we can inspect and we have developer tools with modern browsers, we can actually really easily extract this and put it into the Zestio system. Uh, so we're first going to review the site, look through CSS, check head tags. Uh, I will put this list inside of the YouTube description, but we're going to try to follow this down uh, until we get to a certain point where we're going to be just cleaning things up, uh, but we're going to get you to an area where you're totally in Zesty. Um, so let's just review the site. So this is a pretty simple site. It's got a home page and it's got these products here. It's got a footer. Um, and you can see like this product, these products right here, they're going to be a content model that's a group, right? So we call these uh, page sets. So it's going to have the same type of information like a URL, an image, a description, and a logo. And it's going to repeat in an each loop. It looks like there's six of them. Um, so we'll look at the main nav here. We have our story, which looks like a pretty uh, standard, you know, page. Uh, we notice is like this is an image right here, which we'll just copy for now. But really, we could turn this into a headless data set and loop through it uh, as a content model. These guys too. This is just a big image as well. But again, we could actually do better than that, and we can make this into. Uh, something that we loop through with a headless content model. Uh, so over here we have become a retailer. This is just a big form uh, which we can get into the system. And we have contact which is a giant photo and it's just an address. So very straightforward. Uh, so the next step we're going to look at CSS and JavaScript. So we're going to inspect this and see what kind of like custom CSS it has. You do this by opening up the head uh, if you notice, like all of this information, we're not going to really need to know. There are going to be possibly some scripts that are running, um, but a lot of this stuff is generated by Zesty, like description generator, canonical, short link. All the open graph stuff is generated by Zesty, the title, etc. Uh, it looks like they have a Google Analytics integration, which we can copy. They also have a tag manager integration, which we can get in there as well. Uh, and then you start to see the first style sheet is here. So it looks like they're using some sort of templating system. Um, so we're going to want to just open this link uh, and see what it looks like. And it's pretty much just minified CSS, which, which we can copy, uh, which is not a problem. And you see we have another, we have a font awesome is in here, and we have Bootstrap running. It looks like an additional Bootstrap extension and some more CSS. <laughs> They're running a Google font, which is play. And then you can see they start to jump into some JavaScript down here. Uh, and they're using Bootstrap. So we'll want to get Bootstrap in there. And the Bootstrap version is 3. Uh, since it's OK, we'll just continue using the old version. OK. And then we'll see down below, you get the Google Tag Manager script, which is pretty standard. Um, and it's pretty straightforward, uh, Bootstrap and HTML. So it's should be pretty easy and that was checking the head tag so we're gonna look at body loading elements like links in JavaScript they didn't have any bottom loading elements uh, that I saw just a couple scripts here we have a JavaScript here which we will check out what it is it doesn't even revolve uh, doesn't resolve a file because we need this here Let's see what it looks like. Oh, so this is some Drupal information. Not even sure if we're going to need this. So, so we're going to start at the bare minimum and just bring CSS. And as we see things are missing, um, we'll add them because there are things obviously not being used. So we can we have the opportunity to clean some items up. All right, so we're we're going to create an instance, right? Uh, so let's create a new instance. We're in Zesty over here, and let's call this BNG enterprises so after you create an instance you're gonna have the option to choose a blueprint uh, since we're making a copy uh, we're gonna just start with nothing so we're gonna select blank slate 
Uh, we're going to see we have this information here. I'm the only user on it for now. That's fine. I'm not going to add a domain at this time. I have two options. Uh, my first option is to open manager. That's what I want to do. This is going to create the initial database and everything going on. It's going to drop me into the dashboard when it's done. We also are going to have our open preview, so we're going to want that preview open as well. So if we have an empty dashboard just as a home page in globals, perfect. Uh, we're going to click open preview, and it literally is practically nothing. Okay, so we're going to start copying some of the media to our desktop because we're going to um, just bring the media directly into the Zesty instance. So the first thing we have is this BNG logo and what I'm doing is I'm just dragging it onto my desktop. I use a Mac so I can get away with that. Uh, let's go to the home page and let's see. We've got this background image here. We're going to need to just extract some of this, this information. That image goes away when we are in mobile. Not very helpful. Let's see there. So it's best just to like, uh, you could right click these, I believe. Open a new tab. All right, that's the best way to do it. And I'm gonna drag it right to my desktop. I'm not gonna bother renaming these. You could, if you wanna like think about SEO for this, you could rename these images at this point. Then we have each one of these logos. I'm dragging these to my desktop because uh, we're gonna be creating a loop with these logos. Gentle care. And we have these product images. We'll also just snag those as well. All these I'm just dragging onto my desktop because I'm going to do a big drag and drop uh, into media. Total Eclipse. I think I missed this one. Simple slender. Okay. So now I have all the media on the home page on my desktop. Uh, so I'm going to copy it right into Zesty. Um, first, let's look at what's on the R story page. I have this T image here. Story background. Open a new tab. There it is. It was more than T, there was people hiding in that picture. All right, scroll down. We have this snapshot history image. And for now, we have the brands image. We'll just steal that. I'd like to split this up and turn it into a page set. Uh, so clicking in our brands is pretty much the welcome home page. We already did that. Become a retailer. There's nothing here. I wonder if this is a background image or if this is CSS. Let's find out. We could do that with CSS, so uh, I would prefer not to copy an image. All right, and then the contact uh, is a giant phone. Great. Open this a new tab. Copy this to our desktop. So this, again, this is a small site. Uh, pretty easy to just s snag all the media from here. All right, so Aaron Zesty, all we have to do is click in media. Um, and I'm just going to start dragging and dropping these from my desktop into Zesty Media. You can see it's just kind of taking them one at a time. And now I have all my media. Uh, you can create like a new group, call it Logos, right, if we want to just get that going. And then we can like organize, put the logos into there. It looks like I uploaded that logo twice, so I'm going to delete this one. Get the logos in too. So now if we click into there, just add some organization. It, this doesn't affect how it loads on the website, but organization-wise, it's nice. Looks like I uploaded this guy twice. I'm going to delete it. Uh, so I think we've got everything there. So now our media is inside of the system. Um, now we're going to get CSS and JavaScript. Uh, so we could also put that onto our desktop. Um, cleaning up what I already copied.
so let's just see what we have. I mean, we know we're doing bootstrap on here. Um, we also know we're going to be grabbing so bootstrap three and the min. So we can hot link to say like a CDN for that, which I think they may be doing. Let's just look. Yeah, so they they're hot linking to CDNs for each one of those. Which we can also do. <clears throat> we can also copy it directly into the site, but let's just hot link to that. So hot linking a let's say into the JavaScript, where is it? I'm actually since there's so much of this, I'm not gonna hot link it. I'm going to just put it in uh, to zesty as it is. So let's just open this in a new tab. It's minified. We're going to copy. Uh, this is CSS, so let's just create a CSS file called Bootstrap. I think it was 3.3 min dot CSS. Great. Pasting that in, just hit save. can also copy we might want to directly link to this file on some depending on the relative paths over here um, so we got the bootstrap and we're probably gonna want this whatever this is so open this in new tab looks like some more bootstrap uh, bootstrap s stuff so this has like a it doesn't even have a name so I'm just gonna call it um, ENG one <laughs> dot CSS. So it also looks like it's minified CSS. So we got bootstrap. I don't even know if they're even using font awesome. I didn't see any icons, so I'm not gonna wait to copy that. Then we have this Drupal bootstrap min. I don't know if that's being used. And then I don't, and again, we have all these like obscure, obfuscated URLs. So I'm just going to call this BNG2. Paste that in. So Zesty's going to take all these files and, and put them in the single file that loads, uh, which will optimize the, the speed at which it loads. So then we're including um, these can just copy these elements so you can actually put these in the body uh, and it suggests that to do after the fact for faster loading so I'm going to click into my loader this is like my app shell I'll always load I can just paste that in there um, and then a few more like all this JavaScript too that's going to CDNs so like we can literally just copy the elements and bottom load the JavaScript at this point so I'm just pasting this this is like going to be the very bottom of my HTML page here um, again we have another Google font I don't know if all these are used but we'll just copy them for now sometimes like you you run into a site and it's just got a history of all sorts of stuff you don't actually need uh, so sometimes it's a good time that when you're making a change like this to clean things up as you do the conversion, you'll start to know, like, oh, I'm missing something. Um, and here's the bootstrap that we want. And again, I don't even know if we're using any JavaScript from bootstrap. So we'll just drop it there. So if we look over here, we should see we're starting to pick up some styles. Uh, so it automatically changed the H1 and all that. So that wraps up part one. We have the whole website set up and ready to go. And the next part, we're going to start building out content models and the views. So click on the part two for that.